Prevention and Control of Communicable Diseases Discusses the most common communicable diseases, signs and symptoms of the communicable diseases. Discuss the effects of common communicable diseases, misconceptions or myths, beliefs about common communicable diseases, and identify the prevention and control of common communicable diseases. Discuss first the stages of infection. What is infection? It is a condition wherein the pathogen enters the body. The pathogens are considered as the disease-causing agent. These pathogens are bacteria, virus, fungus, and protozoa. The following are the stages of infection. However, class, the moment we are exposed ourselves to someone who is infected, there is now invasion of the pathogen. So there are what we call stages in which you are going to go through kung magkasakit tayo. So it starts with incubation stage, prodromal stage, acute stage, declining stage, and the convalescent stage. All each of these stages has its what we call characteristics. So pag sinabi natin incubation stage, this is the time. So time would refer to it could be an hours, it could be days, nga mo stay ang pathogen sa tua before siyang maghasik between the exposure to a pathogen and the appearance of the symptoms. For example, you see in the picture, there is a bata nga na all two of them, both of them naka mask. But however, there is someone, uh, sa, the girl has the dots in green, tinatawag natin parang chicken pox. And then you have there with the exposure, sometimes it goes for around two days before mo gawas ng boil sa imuhang katawan. No? Yung parang uh, watery substance na nagputrud or niburot sa imuhang skin. Until such, it goes to the pilanaka days, you will proceed to the next stage with what we call the prodromal stage. Wherein, this, the sign symptoms appears. Marami na siya, lumalak, uh, others lumalaki, others next start papagawas. And you would even feel that there is already a fever that you experience. And in this sector, we have the acute stage in which the disease is at its peak. So, mula, lumalala na siya. Uh, medyo katol, medyo itchy. Yung blisters, somewhat, hin kung hindi mo makontrol yung self, no, you able to scratch it. And it will marks or leaves you a scars. So, you have to be careful, especially in our face. And sooner, mulas gin na ang chicken pox around two weeks for in a row. Mo nang two weeks ag mo absent sa klase. The declining stage, where in the period when symptoms starts to subside, naghinahinay, nagwala, and the severity of the disease declines. Katong acute stage, gihilantan ka ato, the moment na wala na siya, nihupa na siya, there are some parts nga balls nga nag, nag dry up siya, so nawala na siya ng imuhang hilanat, so that is now what we considered as the climbing stage. But, this stage is also somewhat nga makatakod pa ka. So, again, isolation, uh, avoid contacting with other people kung di ka gustong mahawaan sila but kung ganahan kang mangangin hala, sige, add to niya and the last is what we call the convalescent where in the stage, the symptoms of the disease begins to fade you feel okay na, wala na kahilanat masigla ka na and you can go back to work or go to school
common communicable diseases, prevention, and control. Communicable disease or infectious disease can be transferred from one person to another in different ways. Airborne transmission. Pathogens are spread through the air, for example, when someone coughs or sneezes. Direct contact exposure to infected body fluids such as blood or saliva. Third, indirect contact when the pathogens remain on the surfaces that were in contact with an infected person. Vectors or reservoirs. Pathogens are spread by the animal or insect, usually through a bite. Food and water. Food and water can become contaminated with germs and people can get sick when they eat and drink them. These were the common communicable diseases in the Philippines. Infectious agent ARI or acute respiratory infection, rhinovirus, pneumococcus, adenovirus. Signs and symptoms of ARI. How to treat or manage ARI or acute respiratory infections. Bronchitis. Inflammation of the lining of the bronchial tube. People who have bronchitis often cough up thickened mucus, which can be discolored. Bronchitis may be either acute or chronic. Infectious agent, bacteria, viruses, and fungi. The signs and symptoms for bronchitis. For treatment or management, next up is pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sucs in one or both lungs. The air sucs may fill with pus, causing cough with phlegm, fever, chills, and difficulty in breathing. Bacteria, viruses, and fungi can cause pneumonia. The following are the signs and symptoms of pneumonia. Pneumonia should be treated with antibiotics, and for severe cases, especially for infants, hospitalization is advised. Influenza or flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza virus that infects the nose, throat, or sometimes the lungs. It can cause mild to severe illnesses and sometimes can lead to death. The best way to prevent this is to have a vaccine yearly. There are different types of flu virus as an infectious agent, the type A, B, and C. The following are the signs and symptoms of influenza or flu. Bed rest, take plenty of fluids. In severe cases, antiviral medication are prescribed. Tuberculosis is a disease caused by germs that are spread from one person to another through the air. TB usually affects the lungs, but it can also affect other parts of the body, such as brain, the kidneys, or the spine. Person with a TB can die if they not get treated. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is the name of the bacteria that can cause TB. These are the following signs and symptoms of active tuberculosis. Standard of 6 months course of 4 antibiotics is a way to treat those who have tuberculosis. Have you been bitten by a mosquito? Be careful, it might bring a dengue virus. Dengue is a viral infection transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected mosquitoes. The following are the signs and symptoms of dengue. Take a rest, drink plenty of fluids, pain medications can be taken except for those that may increase bleeding and complications.
are misconceptions about communicable diseases. Once vaccinated, you can't get the diseases again. There are still chances of getting sick even if we are already vaccinated. It depends upon the cases and also our immunity. However, it may be a lesser risk rather than those who don't have a vaccine. Another misconception about communicable disease, if you are healthy, you don't need to get vaccinated. Vaccine gives more people a high level of protection against diseases. You can't spread a communicable disease if you are not sick. People doesn't show uh, symptoms are what they call asymptomatic. They can still transmit any viruses or bacteria to another through direct or indirect contact. If you have already had a flu, you can get it again. Often, when you're sick with a virus, your body builds a defense system by making antibodies against it. That means you usually don't get that particular type of virus again. Unfortunately, flu viruses mutate or change each year, so getting sick once doesn't protect you from the flu forever. Did you know that when you are chilling, when you are too hot, when you have a dry cough, when you're feeling very tired, or when your head aches a lot, then you have the symptoms that should not be neglected and ignored. Be aware and sensible of what your body feels to immediately treat and manage your diseases. How are we going to prevent ourselves from communicable diseases? Remember the word, WASHCAM. Remember, we are the custodians of our bodies. We must take action to employ healthy lifestyle habits to prevent, reduce, and or manage disease and illness. By Bridget Collins.